Sports Gamer. With the ability to add your own custom team and the implementation of full minor league rosters, Franchise in MLB The Show 20 attempts to turn the corner this year despite not massively overhauling the program for the past three years. But despite all of that, here are the first things you need to do in order to build a winning Major League Baseball franchise in MLB The Show 20. After initially signing up whichever task that you want to manually control, then you want to head over into spring training so that you can get a full and in-depth look at the roster that you'll be working with for the 2020 season. When evaluating your roster, the key areas that you want to focus on is the age of the player, their overall rating, and then what their potential is for the future. The key is to have a mixture of young and up and coming talent whose potential can grow, while at the same time you want to have aging veterans who can provide morale boost to the team and at the same time produce according to the contracts that they're demanding. Now, keep in mind that in MLB The Show, typically players who are past the age of 31 or 32 continue to decline rapidly attribute-wise in the game. So this is something that you want to keep in mind as you're evaluating your roster. You want to offload veteran players who have albatross contracts and are not producing according to their salary. You want to make sure that you're consistently bringing in young talent that can be developed, but at the same time, you want a couple of veterans on the team who can help with player discipline, player maturity, and who can bring a morale boost to the team to help you in the event you go to a postseason run. Another area that you want to focus on are the contracts for your coaches and your scouts. It cannot be said that this year coaches are vitally important to the development of your young talent. You want to make sure that you're bringing in a coaching staff where their attribute grades are no less, I would say, no less than an A because this is going to dictate how fast they are able to develop your prospects that are coming in, especially the ones that you're scouting who have A and B rated gradings. So you wanna make sure that if you need to fire a particular coach because they're not doing well attribute wise or not adding value to your team, you want to get rid of them immediately and bring in coaches that have no less than a B attribute grade rating. Now, as it pertains to scouting contracts, you want to hire scouts who have a high efficiency and high discovery rating. You also want to make sure that if you hire a scout whose region is the West, you want him to be scouting a West Coast player. You don't want a Western region scout scouting someone who's an international prospect because it's gonna take longer for him to understand and get all of the information with regards to that player's attributes and it just simplifies the process if you stick to the correct region for your scout. Now having said that, if their efficiency and discovery is in the range of 85 and above for each, that particular scout is going to demand a higher salary. So you need to be mindful of what your yearly or monthly, weekly budget is for your team and if you can afford that scout in addition to hiring the best coaches. Now lastly, when it comes to the prospects that you're scouting, you do not need to look at anyone who has less than an 80 potential and 70 overall. I would even say um, anyone that's 75 overall, but it just kind of depends on what you randomly get in your scouting report, but you want that scout to have at least an 80 potential and you want them to have a 70 overall because this will give you somewhat of a good indication of their ability to be developed over the upcoming years, especially if you have hired that coach who is going to give them the biggest attribute boosts that are available. For more on MLB The Show 20 and Sports Content Gaming Daily, make sure you subscribe to the channel and put on your notifications so that when we release new info, you'll be the first to know. 
I'm Ransom. This is Sports Gamers Online, your number one source for the sports gamer.